Hi everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner and I'm just coming at you with a couple of quick projects that I've been working on lately. Um, I'm getting ready for a craft show coming up uh, weekend after next and I've been working on some Christmas things and I just wanted to share some Christmas tree uh, decorations that I've been uh, working on. Get my sign out of the way. I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm trying a different camera angle. Uh, I apologize in advance if I bump the tripod which is like kind of sitting between my legs here. Um, the first project is this very simple little Christmas tree. It started off with a cheap plastic frame that was gold and I painted it white and put some um, silver rub and buff over the um, raised areas. Uh, just some designer scrapbook paper in the back and these are just um, paper or um, mulberry poinsettias from Wild Orchid Crafts and little stickles, um, silver stickles all over it and one of the poinsettias I painted silver and then this is just a little flower from my stash so very simple, very easy, very quick, went together I, I purchased um, a set of six of these frames for a dollar a piece so uh, that was a good buy. So that was the first one. The second one is a little bit more uh, detailed. This one is mixed media. I have a big stash of um, jewelry pieces. Uh, I've been collecting, uh, setting aside the Christmas ones for years and this is what I've done with them. Um, the background is just a, a frame uh, which is 8 by 10 frame uh, and the background is all mixed media uh, stamps and sprays and stencils um, some um, modeling paste uh, this is just a, a stamp here uh, so I have another one that I'm that's in the works right now and this is what the background looks like before putting the tree on. I just finished this the background this morning. Um, on top of that and you can't even see it anymore is this Christmas tree that I printed off um, I found it somewhere on the internet <clears throat> printed it off just to kinda get the shape and it is totally covered can't even see a single bit of it anymore but that will that goes on top of the background just to give me the the guide for the shape of the tree and then basically on top of that just like putting together a puzzle gluing all the different little pieces um, kind of give you a close-up of and the bottom part uh, is dangly cute little <clears throat> teddy bear in a, on top of a package and on top of that is a oops, sorry, a hat. There's the rim of it and it comes up like this. And then just all little bits and pieces of broken um, salvaged Christmas jewelry. Earrings and necklaces and pins and then on top is a pretty pretty um, poinsettia fabric poinsettia and a flower center that I made um, <clears throat> with a flat back pearl and this pretty um, Aurora Borealis bling trim and then these were just charms that I broke off the the top piece and I just scattered those around for for snowflakes um, I will have close-up pictures at the end of this so you can see uh, better the details of it but um, I really enjoy making these they they actually come together together pretty quickly um, this background probably took me a couple of hours this morning with all the layers and drawing in between but um, and then the fun part is is gluing all the little pieces on. It's like putting together a puzzle. Which one goes where and 
uh, I have enough to make maybe another one. This is my what I have to work with for this next one that I'm that I'm working on. So all kinds of little bits and pieces. So that's my project that I've been working on this week. Um, hope you like. Uh, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Um, I think once I run out of the actual Christmas things, I might do um, something similar, maybe with a different shape, maybe a stocking or whatever, um, and just put regular jewelry pieces. I've got tons of it, regular jewelry pieces and then do the gesso over the top and then the sprays to make it a Christmas uh, Christmas colors so there's my project I hope you like give it a try and I'll come back at you soon thanks bye